The American black and white film series first appeared in 1933. The great DC superhero was introduced on screen. It consisted of 15 episodes. The film was directed by Lambert Hillier, and the actor who played the role of Batman was Lewis Wilson. In a press release, Batman was billed as a super series and became Columbia's biggest series ever. After six years, the 15 episode series Batman and Robin in 1939 is released. It was a continuation of the 1930s three series, albeit with a different cast. The film was directed by Spencer Gordon Bennett. Batman was played by Robert Lowry. According to the film critic, Batman and Robin failed to achieve, quote, the same level of energy and excitement as its predecessor. Also known as Batman the movie. The director this time was Leslie Ate Madison and Adam West as Batman. In addition to the film, there is an American television series consisting of 120 episodes. The budget was $1,500,000 and the fees were $3,900,000. The film has received generally positive reviews over the years. It's the first installment in the Warner Brothers film series. The film was directed by Tim Button. This time the costume was worn by Michael Keaton. There is a fact that the Warner Brothers originally planned to hire Richard Donner as the director of the Batman. He made plans to bring Mel Gibson to the cast. The film grossed over $400 million on a budget of no more than $38 million. Batman was criticized by some for being too dark, but nevertheless received genuinely positive reviews from critics. The picture won the Oscar for the best scenery. In 1992, a sequel called Batman Returns by Tim Burton and Michael Keaton was released, which was not eager to direct Batman Returns. According to rumors, even the director called the sequel the most idiotic idea. But despite this, the Warner Brothers studio persuaded to cooperate. The budget was from $18 million. The box office was $266,800,000. The film was nominated for an Oscar for Best Visual Effects and Best Makeup. Critics rated it positively. Batman Forever, third installment from 1995. According to Michael Keaton, after the studio and Tim Burton disagreed about the franchise's path, she could still play Batman. Everything changed when director Joel Schumacher joined the project. Keaton saw that the future film was turning into some kind of bright curtain. This didn't suit him, and he refused the role. The style of the film is very different from the previous parts. The gloomy atmosphere was replaced by a brighter and more explosive one, designed for a younger audience. But Tim Burton stayed on his producer. The actor was replaced by Val Kilmer. Batman creator Bob Kane, who acted as creative consultant, called Val Kilmer the best incarnation of a superhero on the screen. The budget was $100 million and the box office was $336 million. The film was nominated for an Oscar for Best Cinematography, the Best Sound and Best Sound Editing. Batman Forever received mixed reviews from critics. Batman and Robin 1997 is the fourth and final installment by Warner Brothers, the original series of Batman films. Sequel to Batman Forever and the only film made without the participation of Tim Burton. The director didn't change, they remained Joel Schumacher. Val Kilmer decided not to reprise the role of Batman. And according to this, David Duchovny was considered for the role of the Dark Knight. Schumacher was originally interested in William Baldwin playing the role but ended up choosing George Clooney. In an interview with George Clooney after the film's release, the actor said he thinks they just killed the entire Batman series. The film's budget was $160 million. Box office gross of $238 million. Critics gave it a negative rating. Batman and Robin received 11 Golden Roseberry nominations in 1997, including West Movie of the Year, West Superhero Movie, and one of the West Movie of All Time. Batman Begins 2005 is the first part of a new Batman trilogy that explores his youth and becoming a superhero. The producers invited David Fincher, but 
but he immediately refused, citing the fact that everything possible had already been filmed on this topic and he was simply not interested in working with second-rate material. And after, Warner turned to a young and very talented director Christopher Nolan, Guy Pearce, Ashton Kutcher, David Boreanaz. John Cusack, Killian Murphy, Heath Ledger, and again David Duke were considered for the role of Batman. But Christian Bale was chosen to play the Man Bat. The budget was $250 million, cash receipts $371 million. The film was nominated for an Oscar for Best Cinematography. Critics, viewers, and fans of the series warmly received the picture, calling Batman Begins an excellent reboot of the franchise. A sequel to Batman Begins, The Dark Knight was released in 2008. The film's budget was $185 million, and the box office grossed over $1 billion. The Dark Knight is ranked number 3 on IMDb's list of the 250 greatest movies of all time, with an average score of 9. The sequel received many prestigious awards. 2012, the third and final part of Christopher Nolan's icon superhero Batman trilogy, The Dark Knight Rises. With the film's $250 million budget, box office receives once again top over $1 billion. The film received positive reviews from film critics with an average score of 8 out of 10. In 2014, the Fox Channel releases the television series Gotham, where the role of Batman went to young actor David Mazuz. In 2016, Batman v Superman – Dawn of Justice. The movie was in the DC Extended Universe. Zack Snyder was in the director's chat. For the role of Batman among the main contenders for this role were such actors as Richard Amitage, Josh Brolin, Rain Gosling, Joy Manganello, Max Marty, Matthew Good, Scott Atkins, John Hamm, Carl Evan, Eric Bana. Cosmic Book News started a rumor that the source from DC Entertainment provided them with a list of actors who will be auditioning for the role of Batman and this list includes such name as Wes Bentley, Jake Gyllenhaal and Luke Evans. And that the first choice for the role of Batman is Tyler Hodgland, but according to the film company, he looked too young for the role and therefore wouldn't pass the audition. They still chose Ben Affleck to play Batman. The budget was $250 million. Worldwide grosses over $873 million. Upon its release, the film received mostly negative reviews from critics. There, an extended version of the film was released, which corrected the number of shortcomings of the film version. It received more positive reviews. In the same year, The Dark Knight, with the participation of Ben Affleck, appeared in the film Suicide Squad. In a small episode, the film was directed by David Ayer. The Justice League was born in 2017. Director Zack Snyder, who was in the post-production, left the project for family reasons and in a series of conflicts with bosses. Joseph Whedon stood at the helm instead. The producer of Justice League stated that Whedon reshored about 15-20% of the picture, but the Screen Round publication claims that there were much more changes. The film's budget has increased to $300 million. The worldwide grosses over is $657 million. It's the film received mixed reviews from critics, who praised the action scenes and acting but criticized the story. In 2000, in 2018, he appears in the HBO Max television series Titans. The role of Batman is played by Ian Glane. The Arrowverse is a fictional universe created by the CV called Crisis on Infinity Years. The role of Batman was played by everyone respected actor who gave us the voice of Batman in games and cartoons, Kevin Conroe. In 2021, Justice League debuts on HBO Max as the first most watched movie of the year on the service. Following the release of Snyder's Cut, fans took to social media to express their love and appreciation for the film. In additional filming, the project's budget will increase to $70 million. In 2022, Batman is released, which became a reboot of the film series about the young Dark Knight. Ben Affleck was originally supposed to direct continuing the story after Justice League, but the idea never took off. Nominees for director were Matt Rose, Reed 
Bradley Scott, Gavin O'Connor, George Miller, Dennis Vinlock, and Federico Alvarez. The director's child went to Matt Reeves. Pattinson was the main contender for the role of Batman. Reeves noticed Pattinson after watching the thriller Good Time and wrote a script specifically for him. Pattinson's involvement drew backlash from Batman fans, with some of them organizing a petition to replace the actor. But Pattinson found the criticism less vicious than he expected. Christian Bale, who played Batman in the Dark Knight trilogy, supposed Pattinson and advised him to make the rule his own and not listen to critics. The budget was $200 million. The fees in the world amounted to $770 million. According to critics, at the end of 2022, many publications included Batman in their list and named the best superhero film of the year. The Flash will be released in 2023. The film was directed by Andy Muschietti and Michael Keaton plays Batman in the 1992 sequel and Ben Affleck from the DC Extended Universe. And there are rumors that Clooney from Batman and Robin in 1997 got the role of Batman. Additionally, Batman as Ben Affleck will appear in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom.